Good morning. It is week one of year two of med school and we are we're getting right into the swing of things. So this morning we started off the day with a lecture via Zoom on how to break bad news. Um, and we're basically just talking about how to compassionately and empathetically um, express to a patient um, that something unfortunate has happened and we talked through just different situations and just how to approach the patient and how um, to just show them love and compassion and empathy in one of the hardest moments of your lives. So in a few weeks, we're going to be tested with a live actor um, on how to break bad news to a patient. So this was our first like lecture where we're getting into it and talking about it, um, which is kind of scary. Like it's it's good, but it's scary. Um, but it's always good to have practice doing that before trying to do that in real life. So I still appreciate it. And I think it's a very important lesson. Um, it's just kind of scary to get into. Um, and it makes med school more real in a lot of ways. Like I think up to this point, we've just been very science focused and that's not bad. Like we talk about medications and like, you know, ethics to a point, but um, this year we're really getting into like things that are important things that are important um, for patient interaction. So just finished that lecture. I'm about to go back inside and finish uh, my boards and beyond videos. I have one more to do. We're studying the eye and I just have um, the one video on glaucoma left, uh, but I wanted to take a break before I dive in and get some sunshine, uh, but I'm so happy. It's literally, like we're only in day four of class, granted, I is a small subject, um, but this is the fastest I've felt like I'm getting acclimated to a semester. Like it usually takes me a few weeks to feel like I'm really getting in the flow of things in school. Um, but like it's day four and I feel like, I feel like I'm in there. So I'm gonna go finish the boards and beyond videos. And then I'm gonna catch up on some lectures from this week um, that I chose to do boards and beyond first, um, just to get my, I don't know, Boards and Beyond helps explain things to me very well. And then the lectures kind of add details to that. Um, so it's nice to have a solid foundation before I go into lectures. Um, and because this the I unit is short, it's only two weeks, I can kind of get away with finishing the Boards and Beyond and then going into lecture versus like when we have a longer unit that's like four weeks long, I will just watch the videos as I go along with the lectures in class because stockpiling two weeks of lectures to go through is not cute and I've learned that the hard way um but yeah we're getting into it today so time to go back and stay okay it is a few hours later I'm sitting right outside in this little grassy area by the hospital. Um, and I made it through maybe two out of the four lectures I have to get through. Um, they were very like anatomy intensive because they usually start with the anatomy and then work to physiology and then um, go on to pathology. Um, but I don't necessarily learn anatomy very well from people just like explaining the anatomy to me. Like I have to use Anki cards and like recognition and just keep like challenging my brain to learn the anatomy um, which is why it usually takes me the longest to learn whereas pathology I'm like this worked together this made sense this disease does this I don't know those things make sense to me but anatomy doesn't immediately make sense to me um, so it takes a lot longer to get through those lectures and I still think I'm probably gonna have to go back over them um, but I'm super tired and I still have an hour until CBL, so I'm gonna lay out in the grass and do some monkey cards. And that'll hopefully drill in some of the anatomy for me. But I am super happy because I, so I specifically chose to do an afternoon CBL this year. So my CBL doesn't start till 3 p.m. Because last year I did it at 10 a.m. And I am a total morning person. Um, like I'm up at 6 a.m. every day. I'm the most productive before lunch. Um, so when I had CBL um, in the morning, sometimes on those days, like all of my energy got spent on CBL. Um, and so when it was time to do my individual study, it just like was harder to motivate myself. So this year, 
because I have all my individual studying in the morning, I can use all my heavy motivation, excitement, then. And then in the afternoon, when I'm like ready to be done for the day, um, I'll have a group activity. Um, and so it keeps me accountable and like it kind of forces me to keep studying and keep learning um, for the rest of the day. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to take our not really a break, take a productive break and do some monkey cards and then we're gonna head to see you. Like way to think of like nerve damage or a hemorrhage or like something that would have to affect both sides versus with the unilateral, we thought of a lot of like more viral or bacterial things. And if that advice is something bilateral, I think a lot more of a systemic issue mm. versus survived. I'm home. Um, CBL went well. I've decided that because I have CBL on Tuesdays and Thursdays, I'm going to spend some time Fridays and I don't have any classes on Fridays after lecture. Um, so I'm, I'm free to do whatever I want after 10 a.m. Um, but I've decided that on Fridays I need to go over what happened in CBL on Tuesdays and Thursdays because sometimes like there's there'll be stuff that I like I'll understand it when my CBL mate or like someone else says it but like if I were to try to answer that question on my own I wouldn't be able to like put the words together like I understand the concept but like I can't regurgitate it on my own um, and that's the level I want to be on so we're gonna spend Friday going over basically everything for the week but I'm specifically gonna take time to go over CBL stuff. Um, but yeah, this week we talked about, um, I don't know, spoiler alert, if someone's watching this and they're gonna go to my school. Um, but we talked about like shingles and how it relates to eye diseases. And I didn't remember a lot of stuff about shingles because we talked about it more last year. Um, so we're gonna study some shingles tomorrow, but I finished all the eye pathology content. So I need to get on eye anatomy and I'm hoping to cover everything I this week so that next week I can study some more neuro and start doing um, like step practice questions for neuro. Um, because I is a part of neuro, but it was just the one part of neuro that I hadn't studied yet so I can put it all together and I wanna start doing practice questions all about neuro, including the eye next week um, and slowly start adding more systems to my repertoire, I suppose, um, so that by the end of the semester I can be doing practice questions on all the topics um, because, like it or not, one year from now, step needs to be taken. But that's all. We're going to close out the vlog. Thank you for joining a day in my life during my first week of my second year of med school.